Mazza, if you would like to see how I achieved this amazing blonde look, please stick right there because I'm going to show you. It was definitely by mistake, but it was fun anyway. So let's get right into it. I got the wig from Perfect Lace. I absolutely love the packaging. Thank you so much, Perfect Lace wig. As you can see, there's the wig. It was a 613 blonde wig, 22 inches. It comes with a manual on how to treat the hair. A wig cap standard procedure and some hair clips and an adjustable headband. Oh yes and some hair clips. That is what the hair looks like and I want you guys to see how soft my hands are running through it. It is such a soft wig, really good quality hair but one thing I want you to note, look at that color. You see that color right there, that yellowish. And that is the color that was bothering me. As you know, a 613 wig is more yellowish than blonde. And that is not a natural blonde. So I knew for a fact I have to dye the yellowness out of it. So my goal was to dye this hair, but I ended up toning it, which also worked out perfectly because as long as that yellowness is out, that is all that matters. That's the inside of the wig with the clips and everything. And you can also see the lace in the front and the back of the wig. And there we go, there's that baby right there. It looks like good quality lace. That is what the wig looks like when I put it on my wig stand. Now look at this color. You won't be able to see it right now, but as you can see, there's streaks of yellow in the hair and it has a yellow undertone and we do not want that. So that is what we are trying to correct today. But I'll bring this up later again so you can see the difference. This is the hair dye that I decided to use. It is the Renew Ice Tea Color 8.73. And as you can see, it was meant to be a honey brownish kind of iced tea color, but that is definitely not what we got. <laughs> oh gosh. But at the end of the day, the hair did come out looking really good. So I don't know, maybe it's a blessing in disguise that it didn't come out this color. You have to pour the colorant into the color developer and then you have to shake them very hard and mix the two. And please don't forget to wear your gloves. Then I poured some hot water into a bucket and this is where I think I started making a mistake. As you can see, at first it was only one kettle, but now the water has doubled. Why did I do that? I think pouring more water and only having a certain amount of dye is what affected the color to not come through, but we live and learn. <laughs> so yeah, just be sure to not pour as much water as I did, okay? I then pour the hair dye into the water. And I mixed it around with an old wooden spoon. The color of this water had me questioning a lot of things, but we move. <laughs> we have to carry on with the job. Also, please don't forget to first test out the dye with a piece of hair from the back of your wig. Once you're ready to go, just dip it in, honey. Honey, dip that thing in. Guys, I was so scared when I was doing this. I'm not going to lie. Yo! But yeah, no, it was too late. So I had to put the whole thing in and wish for the best. <laughs> Please don't ask me why I was swirling it around. I don't know. I really don't know. I just did it because I've seen other people do that. Okay. And then I decided to close it and then leave it for a few minutes. And that could also be another reason why the hair did not come out the correct color. Most people leave it in for about more than 15 minutes. I left it for three minutes. Just three. Because I was scared. But as I said, we move. <laughs> we shall figure it out later. After washing and drying the hair, this is the color that it came out as. Now, can you see the difference? That Barbie girl yellow fake hair color has gone away and we are now left with a beautiful platinum blonde and I love it. 
The root of the hair on the lace has turned color a bit, which also shows that the hair was definitely toned before, which is actually a great thing. Because now it's going to look very natural. And I'm so glad that I didn't have to tone it because I had completely forgotten. So this was a great bonus. Thank you, Perfect Lace Wick. After installing the hair, styling it, doing the most to it, straightening it, putting some good product on it, this was the finished product. And as you can see, it definitely looks like a different color from when it was placed on the doll. And that's obviously because we've got different shades. Um... I absolutely love this wig guys um, it is my first blonde wig I would definitely advise you to get it and to also just play around with it that's the nice thing about getting a 613 wig is that the possibilities are endless thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you on the next one